just have one question before we start. Is this my look at me? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Your beard looks fuller in this one. That's cool. <laughs> Alright, the car is a 1963 Chevy 2 Nova. The power plant is a 4.8 liter LS. It's a stock bottom end. It's got a bullet turbo cam, uh, Johnson lifters. It's got a set of 862 heads with aftermarket uh, valve springs. Um, it has a trunnion upgrade. Um, should be a good little motor. So the turbo is a VS Racing 88 millimeter. Uh, it's got a billet wheel. Uh, it's got a T6 back housing. Uh, it's 96 millimeter. So the turbo kit's made up of a set of forward-facing full-tech headers. Um, it's got a 304 stainless steel tubing that I built the hot side out of. Um, it's got a set of 44 millimeter VS Racing waste gates. Um, it's got a five inch aluminum down pipe that I fabricated myself. Uh, I built all the pie cuts myself and uh, welded them all together with a big weld. Uh, it's backed by a turbo 400 transmission. Um, that's got a billet valve body. Um, it's got trans brake. Rear end is a Ford nine inch. Uh, it's got 370 gears. Um, the tires are 2810.5s. Uh, so the rims, actually, there's kind of a funny story with that. So I found these rims on Jag's website. Uh, they're uh, kind of identical to a set of uh, expensive wheels. They're called Weld V-Series uh, wheels. So uh, I decided that um, I was going to use my graphic uh, vinyl graphic cutter to uh, cut some stickers to make them look like Weld V-Series. Uh, it actually it's kind of funny, it, it kind of fools a lot of people when I go to car shows and things with them, they actually think they're the real welds, but they're actually uh, made by a company called Vision Wheels, so they're just a cast wheel, they're not forged or anything like that. Uh, so up front, it's got a set of uh, checkered racing control arms with a set of QA1 coilovers, they're non-adjustable. In the future, I plan to add uh, double adjustables in the front and rear. Uh, the rear suspension is a four-link, um, it's got strange coilovers, they're single adjustables for now car in, on Long Island actually, um, there's actually kind of a story to go along with that. Um, me and my dad went down, uh, we had a trailer, we, I found the car on a website called Racing Junk, um, so me and my dad found it, uh, we thought it was a good deal, so we called the guys, set up a meeting, um, we get down there and we're looking over the car, uh, the car looked good, so we were basically ready to buy it, and then my dad goes, well, um, why don't you go over the VIN number? So the guy wrote the VIN number off of the registration and the, the VIN was actually one digit off from the, the VIN number on the registration. Um, it didn't match. So we, we kind of pulled back and um, decided to, to, to tell the guy if he wants to fix it, the problem instead of us dealing with it, um, that he should go ahead and fix that and then we'll buy the car. So. Um, about a month went by and it took a while to get it fixed, but he got the registration to match the VIN, um, so it wasn't stolen or anything like that. Uh, so then once he got that done, I, we, we went and picked the car up. Um, I, I, can mention it, I paid $5,000 for the chassis. Um, at the time, it was just a, it's got a Trekker Racing back half, uh, the car's a mini tub. So it, it has frame connectors that go to the, it had, at the time it had the stock uh, front end on it. So it was the big struts and goofy looking stuff. Um, so I, I, the first thing I did to the car was unbolt that and bolt it on a checkered racing front end. Uh, a Nova is a good platform to build uh, into a race car because it's very light from the factory. I believe uh, this particular model uh, stock was about 2,600 pounds. Um, and lightweight wins races.